Hello students. So today we will start a new chapter and that is simple interest. So first we will understand what is simple interest. Okay. So simple interest is nothing but the extra amount paid by a borrower or a lender. Okay. While borrowing the particular money. For example, I need some money. Suppose a person needs some money from the bank. Okay. So imagine that this is our bank. So now he needs the money. He is thinking that I need rupees thousand. So he is a borrower. He will be called as a borrower. Borrower means who takes the money and bank will be called as lender. Okay. So now he needs some money. So bank will give the money to the borrower and the bank will charge some interest. Okay. So now understand. Let us understand what is principal. So principal is the amount of money which is to be borrowed okay principal is the amount of money to be borrowed okay so here in this example the man is borrowing rupees thousand so principal will be thousand next is our rate of interest so you have to remember that rate of interest is the rate at which the interest is calculated okay and it is always written in the form of percentage next is our so now we will see what is the formula of simple interest so simple interest is equal to p into r into t by 100 okay where p is nothing but principal and r is rate of interest and t is the time for which the money is borrowed so now we will find we will know what is amount so amount is the sum of simple interest plus principal so we can say that a is equal to si plus principal clear okay now we will understand exercise 11a so if we see 11a so let us see question number one it is asking that find the simple interest on rupees 200 for two years at 8% per annum so we will write here that our principal will be equal to rupees 200 time will be two years and rate will be 8% so now we will find the simple interest So as we know that simple interest is equal to P into R into T by 100. So that is 200 into 8 into 2 by 100. So it will be rupees 32. Okay. So this will be our answer. Okay. 
let us see bit 2 now okay so now we will see in the bit 2 it is saying that rupees 300 for 2 years at 2.2 percent per month so here you see the rate of interest is per month so whenever it will be per month then remember that this years should also be converted into month so first we will write that principal is equal to rupees 300 time is equal to 2 years that is equal to 2 into 12 24 months and rate is equal to 2.2 percent per month so remember that if the rate is per month then the time should also be in month so now we will write the formula of simple interest so simple interest is equal to p into r into t by 100 so that is equal to 300 into rate is 2.2 time is 24 by 100 so it will become 3 into 2.2 into 24 so the answer will be rupees 158.40 this will be our answer let us go to the third bit so let us see the bit 3 so in bit 3 it is saying that rupees 500 for 2 years at 0.04 percent per day so remember since here the rate is given in day so the time should also be converted into days so we will write that principal is equal to rupees 400 time is equal to 2 years that is equal to 2 into 365 that is equal to 730 days okay and rate is equal to 0.04 percent we can write that 4 by 100 percent so remember that whenever the rate is given in per day the time should also be in days so now we will write the formula of simple interest that is equal to p into r into t by 100 so 400 into 4 by 100 into 730 by 100 so the answer will be so the answer will be rupees 116.80 i hope you understand let us go to the next question so now we will solve question number two so student question number one rest bits you, you will do on your own i have solved bit one bit two and bit three and rest bits are all similar so you apply the techniques and solve it on your own now we will see question number two so in question number two it is saying that a man takes a loan of rupees fifty thousand from a bank and pays it back after three years the bank charges simple interest at the rate of 12.5 percent per annum okay calculate the interest charged by the bank and the amount of money that has to pay to the bank okay so first we will write the given things so what is given here so first we will write that principal is given rupees 50,000 time is given 3 years rate is given 12.5 percent per annum okay and what we have to find out we have to find out the simple interest so we will give it question mark 
and also you have to find out amount question mark so first we have to check that the time and the rate are same or not you see in rate it is written per annum and it is in time it is written three years so it is okay so now we will write that simple interest is equal to p into r into t by 100 so p is our here 50,000 into rate is 12.5 that means 125 by 10 removing the decimal and time is 3 years so p into r by t by 100 so now here 4 zeros are there so 4 zeros will get cancelled so it will be 5 into 125 into 3 so that will be equal to so the answer will be rupees 1875 so this is our simple interest but you have to find amount also so we will write amount is equal to simple interest plus principal so simple interest is how much rupees 1875 and principal is 50,000 so it will be how much 68,000 sorry so our answer will be rupees 51875 okay so students note down your homework you have to complete question number 1 to question number 5 exercise 11a i hope you understood okay thank you very much and like share and subscribe my channel to get the notification hit the bell button thank you